Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, empowering you with the Word of God against the woke mindset of this world. Uh, we're using the Bible uh, to uh, protect you. And it said here, rather, uh, we're going to look at Acts uh, chapter 1, verse 8, and it says, Rather, uh, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you'll be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Um, who was talking there? And uh, what was he talking about? Now, this is Jesus. These are the words of Jesus. And he was referring to the Holy Spirit coming uh, to his disciples, to his apostles. And uh, he, would, he was telling them that the Holy Spirit would lead them uh, into things that they would be doing in their future life. You might say, that sounds kind of creepy. Well, it's um, an act of God, and it is uh, a supernatural thing uh, that occurred. And um, uh, the Holy Spirit actually uh, lives within me, since I'm a born-again Christian. And uh, it encourages me to also share the gospel with you, uh, to uh, be a witness of Jesus Christ uh, all around the world as these videos go all around the world and uh, God uses his Holy Spirit uh, to encourage his followers to share the gospel by him because he is the good news he's the way to salvation and uh, that is a message that saves people's souls and many times saves people's lives because you know a lot of times people are very depressed or very anxious and then they end up uh, receiving Jesus Christ in their life. And they receive peace of God. And they receive hope. And uh, life becomes worth living. Uh, but uh, the Holy Spirit does empower us to do things that are difficult in life. Um, and, you know, preaching the gospel is a thing that is uh, pretty scary when the whole world is out uh, against you and you know, spreading evil and lies and stuff like that. When you spread the gospel, then sometimes you become a target of the enemy. And that is not something that, uh, that's something if you, if you did it in the flesh, it would be a very fearful thing for you to do. But uh, we don't have to fear because the Holy Spirit gives, encourages us and comforts us and empowers us uh, to be able to, to share the good news and to be able to share the Word of God with people. And I could not do this of my own power. Uh, I would not be able to, uh, you know, talking about the things of God unless the, the power of God was within me uh, giving me that ability and that strength and that comfort. So um, do you want to be empowered by the Holy Spirit? If that's a desire of yours, then I want to encourage that desire uh, because uh, the Holy Spirit changes your life and it rearranges who you are when He is in work in you. And uh, you might say, John, I need a new start in life. Well, you can get a new start in life by believing on Jesus Christ and receiving Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. That's how we get the Holy Spirit. We put our faith in Jesus, and uh, we believe the gospel, believe that Jesus died for our sins, believe that he rose again, that God sent him uh, to this world to save us from our sins. Then we believe on him, and we repent of our sinful behavior. And uh, we turn away from that sinful behavior, and then we ask God to save us from our sins. We ask Jesus Christ to come into our hearts and our lives. We receive Jesus. And when you receive Jesus, uh, and you, when you ask God to receive Jesus, then God can do that for you. He can allow you to receive Jesus into your life. At that very same time you receive Jesus Christ, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit uh, does amazing works inside our heart and inside of our mind. As long as we're open to it and as long as we allow it to. And uh, God uh, wants to change you. He wants to give you a brand new start, a spiritual brand new start. The fact is, He wants to give you a new birth. 
He wants you to be born again. And when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord, you can be born again. And you can receive the powerful, powerful Holy Spirit. This is John with Light of Scripture encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God. Let the Word of God get deep into you.